Isaiah Berlin famously said, to understand is to perceive patterns, right? So it's a moment in which the dots connect and a new gestalt is revealed, right? It's a moment where you bump up a level and you see the big picture. People describe these moments as epiphanies, right? At their best, they can be ontological awakenings. They can be forceful reckonings with what is. An unseen world can come into view. An evanescent lightning bolt of meaning in the perceiver's mind can make you go, aha, right? It's an exhilarating neurostorm of intense intellectual pleasure. The very act of creativity is a kind of ecstasy. It's a kind of exorcism. It's a kind of shaking off and passing through of energy, right? The feelings and revelations and visions come through us but not from us and though they are with us they belong not to us we become vessels right as it passes through us we become conduits for a message right? for a transmission we find ourselves seated with information <laughs> and from this we have no choice but to respond right we contend Right? Artists contend with the unknown, and then they make it known. They tile it with language. They mark the map. They leave the paper trail. They show the way. Right? We come back to the village right? for people to marvel then at what we've brought back. The souvenirs, the art, which serves as a mattice through which the transcendent can shine through. Even people perhaps not educated in art history, people untrained to see the nuance in great art can still find themselves jolted from truth, even if they don't fully understand it. We respond to the ecstatic vision whether or not we can discern its meaning. This is the nature of art. This is the nature of creativity.